K. Davis. I'd like you to follow along with me a little bit. Let's revisit. I wanted to revisit the fence jumper video, uh, you know, with the uh, the aid of, of Google Earth. And uh, this this particular image is is 1995. It, it's not the not the it's not the newer images. Uh, so you know, it's going to look a little different, but still, it'll help be helpful in understanding, you know, the the lay of the land and. You know, uh, maybe perhaps why the Sasquatch was in these areas, uh, but but at any rate, let, let's just kind of ease around and and see if we can go down to the ground. Okay, let's just kind of spin it around here, so that we can get the the right perspective on the video. All right. Now let's just kind of go. Although the, the footage is grain, very grainy because of it being late at night and under the canopy of the trees, uh, you can still extrapolate some information there. So I, I isolated this file where he twisted the foot as he turned directions uh, crossing over this fence, and, and he swung the heel around on the ball of the foot. And uh, that kind of gives you an idea how far, how big the foot may be by looking at how far the heel swung around pivoting on that ball uh, so you know if, if you see a significant shift of the heel then the foot has to be pretty good size and, and so uh, uh, I just put this out here for you you be the judge Now what I'm going to show you next is a still capture from the video and it's been filtered. Uh, you have to remember that uh, this is take this film this video was taken at like dark 30 
uh, and it's just you know just before dusk, and uh, it's not very much light under there, so that you know uh, whenever whenever uh, uh, you're in a shade like that, you know the film tends to be dark and grainy, and and uh, you know you have problems with it, but you can still filter it and still see some things. And I want you to just get a look at this guy. Um, and the more you look at this, at first it seems kind of hokey looking, the video, but the more you look at it, the more you begin to see, you know, high strangeness in this video. Uh, you know, so it, it, it never pays to just uh, write something off uh, based upon a first impression. You know, you need to look at it. Uh, take a look at this picture here. All right, let's just kind of spin things around again. Um, let's find there's a there's a little road that goes right back through here. Let's just kind of go down to it, but we'll spin it around again to get the right perspective. through here. Well, let's just kind of go down to it. Now as we as we approach the ground, take a look up in this tree. Uh, as the video runs, uh, it'll, it'll switch to my video and just take a look up in this tree and see what you see up in this tree. It's a piece of heavy furniture with a, tr a really big tree limb kind of bent backwards on itself, bonsai style, back over the piece of furniture. Uh, and my friends, uh, that's high strangeness. You know, there, there's a lot of things to consider, you know, uh, about a piece of footage like this. And having, you know, been there at the place myself, uh, I, I, well, you, you expect to get some answers, uh, you know, one way or another. Uh, but it, it just kind of left me with a lot more questions. I thank you for your time.